get this finished. So um, I might do another making Gary's blanket live stream. And Gary just brought me a piece of cake, which I don't, that, I just made this. It's um, walnut pecan banana cake and a cup of tea. So sorry if I'm going to nibble because it's very nice warm. Oh, Bill Bayer, I like your name. That's funny. David, hi, and Ellie, Grace, Rita, Kelly and Connie. Woo, woo. Good to see you all. Okay, so, oops, I'm in my own head. <laughs> At least it didn't make a noise. Um, right, got my hook. And I've got my scissors. And I've got something to show you all later in there. But not right now, because um, I'll wait until there's a few more. Otherwise, I'll be showing it again and again. So there's my, put that there. I'll have a little nibble on my cake. I don't like to eat in front of people, but you just brought me this in. Oh. I'll get to you in a minute. I've got an ad going. Mmm. It's very good. It's just too good. Okay. Well, I say I don't like to eat in front of you all. I mean, you probably... That always happens. You probably saw... Uh, me stuff my face badly with the um why is this stuck oh hang on a minute tablet now we are free what is going on that's that's the lead of my, <laughs> my yarn is caught around my lead it's fine for now okay let's have a look who we got um, so what is knitting? Hello, welcome, don't forget the thummy. Roberta, good morning, Jane Stevens, hello, and Amber Byers, hello from Washington State. Cool beans. Now, I do apologise ahead of time for eating my cake, but it's just too good to not. Um, mm -mm -mm. I did a tutorial for that cake, well, for the banana cake, on um, this channel. But, whereas I used to put, um, just thinking I may be able to see the chat better on this. Maybe. So I used to have, um, let's just check it out. No, it's very small. It's no better. In fact, I think, I think it's probably better as it was. Let's just put it down. Oh, now I've knocked my coat down. Now I've done something else. Honestly, what am I doing? Annoying myself. There we go. Be careful how you put it down. I have to pick my coke up soon. I'll probably drop my hook. No, it's there. Fabulous. Anyway, so yeah, the basic banana cake recipe that is on here. I um used to put cherries in and now I put walnuts and pecans oh boy it is good I'm just trying to see if I've done three I think I have one two three it's hard to see because it's such dark yarn so how are you all <laughs> I need to cut that before I go on um I was doing something earlier that kind of really wrecked my nail and I have a vertical split in it which was too low for the clipper. It's gone now. But it was catching on the yarn. Typical, the only bit of thing that found it. Hi, Joe. Late again. You're not really. I've only just started. I haven't done a stitch yet. Not one. All I've been doing is nibbling on, nibbling on my nuts. Mm. Nibbling on my cake. Um, naughty, but nice. So it's not a mukbang, don't worry, I'm not going to um, be making awful noises, I don't like that. So tell me, what have you been up to today? The weather was a bit, well, sunny this morning. And Gary went out and did some weeding on the um, one of the flower beds. And then, because it was generating too much rubbish... He kind of stopped and then the heavens opened and it's been gloomy, raining and horrible ever since and dark 
but it suddenly looks like night time. It's horrible out there. Um, making washcloths. What else is everybody doing? I was um, making stitch markers. I had the stuff for ages. I've now run out of um, bulldog clips. So I need to get some more before I can make any more. But I've got lots in here. There should be about 50. I made some that were like little yarn balls because I like to send them in my orders. It's weird because looking at it straight, it doesn't show it. But if I hold it wonky, it does. So I've got one that looks like yarn balls. And I've got little hearts that say made with love on them. Loads of those. Then I've got other little yarn balls and I've got knitting needles sticking out of these yarn balls. If you can see the whole thing or not. And there is a sewing machine. Sewing machine. Um, scissors. They're all kind of craft related, really. I'm trying to find some that you haven't seen. Oh, and then there's obviously the obligatory hand. Wouldn't be me without those, would it? On the back, I don't know if you've got around the right way. And, whoa, I can't find them. I thought, oh, I'll put them in this little bowl. It's really cute, but hard to get out. Little um, safety pin or nappy pin. That's my oh tape measure. Oh tape measure. Cute, 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 cute. And what else have I got? Another tape measure. I need to find buttons. Oh, it's not a button. Where are you buttons? Um more yarn balls. Got quite a few like yarn balls, obviously. They're the kind of trademarky thing. Ah, there we go. I'm not sure if this is all there is, but these are dead cute. Look, little buttons. I don't know if you can see them. Turn. It's got little buttons on. It's so sweet. There's probably others. Um, sewing machine I've shown you. Hand. Um, I can't remember if there's any others. Um, but I did it. I've got 50 now. I'll leave those ones out and then anyone new comes in, I can have a fish them around again if I were oh, there. So that's what I was doing, waiting for the postman who was late. Uh, Dayon, hi, and from you and Jesse. Happy Easter, everyone. I know it's over, but the, you know, chocolate's still around. Mine is anyway. Hi, Trudy. And all the rockers and Sarah working and lurking. So hello there. Don't forget the thummies. And um, I'm supposed to be working. But instead, all I keep doing is nibbling cake. Gary brought it in for me. It's bad, but I know. But oh. Been running around crazy. Hi, little sis. Mm. We had a good Easter. We had a bit of a ravey party um, with family. And we had lots of goodies, chocolate and cake. <laughs> and diet will start soon, so um, not just yet, though. I feel really bad eating cake in front of you all. But, you know, just brought it in and it's going to call my name. <laughs> it's going to be like, eat me, eat me. So I don't know what I'm going to do here because I'm not sure that I've got enough yarn to go around twice. I don't much fancy playing yarn chicken and losing. I see people. Um... Oh, yeah, I think I read that one. Maritza, hello. Hola. I like that. When you're in Spain, 
and they and they come to like clean your room or give you something, give you <laughs> give you towels or whatever. And they come in the room and they say hola. It just sounds so nice. We say hello, hello. They say hola. Theirs is nicer. I think we should adopt it. Hola. So, <clears throat> if you haven't seen them already, I've been busy making my stitch markers. And those are the ones that I like, really made them to um, put into orders when people bought buy from Hobby Rocks. I thought, you know, I did a toy with the idea of making little sets and selling them on eBay or something. But I'm not sure that they're good enough. Do you know what I mean? Like my eyesight, closing up the the ring and everything else. I'm not sure that I'm good enough at it. I never really notice other people's ring. See, I feel like I can eat this without you seeing me because there's a big message on the screen. But I don't think it's going to work that way for you guys. You're still... Uh -huh. See it. Mm -hmm. Gary bought me one of those. <laughs> His mum had one. But hers was like this round and, and like a torch with a magnifying light. And she used to pick it up and put it on her eyeball. And she had quite bad vision. And she had that, not tunnel vision, but she had something else. And uh, she was really, really bad. And um, I opened one of my presents once and it was a magnifying glass light. And I thought, I'm old. <laughs> it's official. I'm old. I have a magnifying light. <laughs> Bless. It's so sweet. I replaced his mother <laughs> with the magnifying light. It's oh dear. I have got the row beneath there. I have to be careful of that because it kind of pulls a little tight and then if I'm not careful I'll get the row beneath and I was hoping to escape the fibres today. Oh, I've been sick and how your mum is in the hospital very sick. Oh sorry about hearing about that. I thought why is somebody saying sorry and I missed that bit. So um I hope it's nothing too serious. Serious. I'm trying to break. Oh, I'm really apologise ahead of time about the fibres. I'll be glad when this blanket is done and I don't have to uh, disturb the fibres anymore and have them go up my nose. So uh, I hope you're feeling better now and little Jessie. And I hope your mum is okay and that she will be okay. It's very worrying, isn't it, when when people are in hospital and at the moment as well. Because COVID had a new variant and it was on the rise, last time I had an appointment at hospital, I didn't think they were going to even let Gary go with me, but they did. She's getting better, that's good. I'm glad about that. So um, that's the main thing, that it's, you know, they're treating it and she's getting better. I do feel weird when I do this because um, I've been doing some live streams over on Rocksteady and I said I was going to do one today and I ended up doing it on here instead because I want to finish this. Um, but I will be doing lots over there to get my watch hours up because it's a hard thing, isn't it, to do. <laughs> and when I do them over there, because I'm just chatting and it's kind of like, it reminds me of the old days when I just used to chat. Whereas this one, I'm kind of getting stuck into this all the time. Oh, the fibres are doing me already. They're doing me already. I've got a tissue somewhere that at least helps, I've noticed, when I do this. If I can get in them. Because it kind of captures them and gets rid of them. Annoying, annoying thing. Um, rainbow cakes. What are those rainbow cakes over my shoulder? 
Well, funny you should say that. I think you might be talking about these. Are you talking about these? These ones here? They were, they're cotton. And um, I bought them a long time ago in this Black Friday event. So all it says on them is Black Friday. And Julie saw them and she was like, well, if you're ever thinking of selling those, I'd be definitely interested in them. Because I, to be honest with you, I don't think I'll use them. But these ones, these here, the ones around there, the ones around them, they're Hayfield Spirit. And I love that stuff. But um, that's my own personal Hayfield Spirit, which um, does need kind of caking up, I think. I've figured out those yarns. You can only really do centre pull. If you do centre pull, then they're okay. But if you try and unwind them like a ball, then you're in for just an, a tangled mess. And it's not good. Uh, they are beautiful colours. They really are. Hi, Lawley. Welcome. If you haven't already, guys, don't forget the thummy. Um, yeah, so I've only got a couple. I've got two of those real and one that's purple you can see it there that one kind of mauve and beige and i think if i've got two or three of those colorful ones i've um i don't know why but i don't really use cotton that much and uh i do i do need to start doing a few things and i don't i just they were eye catching that's what made me buy them but it wasn't until I decided to have a clear out in here, and I did do a little little video of it, of me clearing out some of the cubbies, and I came across yarn that I bought and I'd forgotten completely about. But I hadn't actually forgotten about that, but part of me kept thinking, I wonder what happened to that Black Friday yarn that I bought. Um, and then I uncovered it, and it was <clears throat> it was on one of the cubes but it was at the back of yarn i don't know why well i've made it all the way round i wonder if i've got enough i don't really want to play yarn chicken but um i just don't know if i've got enough to get round again what to do guys what should i do should i chance it and i'll be have to frog it all back if i haven't got enough oh, i hate that I'm not a good frogger. I'm the sort of person that um, if I have to frog it, a little piece of my soul goes, you know, it's like, no. You know, when you're designing something, there's frogging involved. But um, thankfully, they usually for me, that's only a little bit. I remember watching Krista from The Secret Yarnery once and she said, oh, I'll just frog it back. It was like a mile of crochet that she frog back and I thought how can you be that kind of okay about it because it's like it's not okay not to me so I just sat and done that mm -hmm. um I haven't ever I don't sell those ones because I've never found them they're just they were just um like a Black Friday thing I don't even know what brand they really are where did you get the magnifying glass? It was um, Gary bought it for me. I just probably bought it on Amazon, to be honest with you. It was just like a, a magnifying glass that had a light attached. Not like Joyce's one. I think she got hers from the um, Institute for the Blind, because she was actually um, considered blind, although she did have some sight. It wasn't great. So she was, um, you know, like registered blind. And um, hers came from there because it was, um, oh, no, I nearly did it wrong. Did it? Let me just check on this. No, I've got to go in that one. I, oh, nearly. And now I'm back at the corner. So now I am actually dead corner. I have this much left. Are you enough to go all the way around? You're not going to let me down, are you? <laughs> Talking to a yarn ball. I have officially lost the plot. Okay, so let's move this on this side. We'll give it a go. 
really hate that. I haven't got any that's that dark blue that I'm going to get away with putting a bit on. Frogging does suck. You're right. Yeah, it's not really a great edging. All I'm doing is, um, what I did was I've done three half trebles, which are half doubles in the US, in the chain space. And I didn't go in the post because that's perfect enough. Yeah. But when I got to the corner, I did one in the post, three in the chain space, one in the post. And that was enough to go around without any puckering and it sorted out this row so it still looks like a box. It was just perfect. So I thought I would do two rows of that, two rounds of uh, half treble, half double. And then once I'd done that, I can then, if I want to, get this colour back out oh, with all that fibre and just maybe do either a crab stitch or something small around the edge that will be variegated and it will catch your eye a bit like and make it pop a little bit. I don't know whether I will. Yeah, Hayfield Spirit that is, and it's um my favourite colour. Um I can't remember what it's called. But um they're on special offer in my shop and <clears throat> there is a colour of Hayfield Spirit called Zest. And um, I have that in Papatia, which may be cheaper. And that's on one of my shelves somewhere. So it's worth checking out because um, I've got Hayfield Spirit in my shop, but I also got Papatia. Just have a look and see if the shade you like um, is cheaper in either. Because they are absolutely identical. Um, it's exactly the same yarn. But that colour, that colour scheme of Hayfield Spirit, that rainbow, is is my favourite. And I've made a couple of things with that. Um, I did that, one of those blankets recently with it. So that's what two rows of it would look like around the edge. I'm not sure if I like two rows of it. What do you think? Let me get, uh, make my loop big. Two rows of it would be that big. I'm not sure if it just means it's too too much of the dark or not. What do you think? Do you think? No, I think it's fine. I was just being silly. Still got cake to eat. I feel really bad eating it. Uh-oh. Here we go, pulling out some yarn. It could all be a moot point anyway, because I might not have enough to get all the way around. I think I've probably got near enough 100 grams, so I'm hoping it's enough. Please excuse me while I out of. That's what I was thinking. Crab stitch. It's like a backwards single crochet or a backwards double crochet. Let me do a little bit more, and then we'll get a better idea of um, what it will actually look like. Just crocheted one of my hairs in. Typical, isn't it, really? Can't really be off it. They're just always, always flying around, even though it's tied up. Okay, so now I've done a bit more. So if I just did the one row, then that's what that would look like. If I did two rows, it would look like this. I was thinking I could get this colour back and just do a thin row. Because obviously if I do a thin row around this, this amount of it, it will take a lot of it away. It will, you know, you won't see so much of this dark. You'll lose a bit. But if I... If I have two rows of it and then I did a, a thinner row going around the edge, would that not look better? What do you think? Give me some ideas. What are we talking about? <clears throat> you looked and they have them on Amazon for 20, but they are knockoffs.
or Hayfield Spirit. That's just that's too expensive. Um, maybe I'm missing missing something. Um, Walmart for seventeen. What is? Am I missing something? Oh, the magnifying. You've been talking about them. eBay five fifty five. Was this the magnifying glasses? I guess it just depends on the brand if that's what you're talking about. So, what do you think then? Two and then a thin row of the colour, or just finished it like that? I don't think that's enough. And as if I, yeah, if I do a a thin row of that, maybe. Do you think that might be too thick? Should I do like a row of single crochets? Would be just a little bit. Let's go back. That's frogging. But it's only small. I'm okay with small frogging. I really hate um, doing double crochets or single crochet in the US. I hate that stitch. It is just evil. Um, but it probably is all that's needed the other one another half treble half double row is probably that little bit too much so if I go around I'll do a bit more and then you can see you know all I've eaten today is like junk food yesterday Gary bought um, some cookies I'm not kidding it was like a great big box of them so for breakfast, we had one of each of them. There were three three varieties. So we had cookies. And then lunchtime, we had cake. <laughs> We've got sausages for dinner. Sausages! Perfect for me. Anyone who watches my chats will know. Sausages. Right, okay. This might be better. I'm really reluctant to scream to sort of move these I'll have to do it with the tissue in case that's fibers okay so now this is one row and this is well one and a half rows it's not quite as tall as two and then if I do a thin row that would look better I think what do you think guys <clears throat> oh lighted magnifying glasses I think that's cool because it's not really it's not really thick it's right I think yeah we'll do that as much as I really 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 hate this stitch and I've got so much of it to do it will at least give me that little bit of oh, fibers a little bit extra why do I maybe it's just mind over matter you know and I don't really have fibers it just itches for the sake of it Yeah, I think there's all different brands. I mean, you can get those magnifying lights. The one that Joyce has, some German company. And they were really, really expensive because they were, you know, kind of proper instruments. But when it comes to just a magnifying glass with a light, there's probably loads and loads and loads doing it. I'm wondering where to find the Hayfield Spirit. They were talking about magnifying glasses. I like the idea of crab stitch. Do that to finish. Hi, Diana. Why not just do a crab stitch and call it quits? Crab stitches never look neat for me. It must be something about the way I do them. But I never find... Some people do them and they look like a really lovely, neat row. But they never really do for me. Must be something about my tension. I don't know. I always think my tension's fairly medium, but I'm never really struck by it. But I think that is perfect now, that that amount. Two was probably too much because it is very dark, but it pulls out that darkness. And I think it's you need it, it rather than just one row because that you still see the the chain space kind of thing. I need to pull out more yarn. I wonder if I've got enough. Back to that again. Do I have enough? What's going on with this? I to have a bit more cake. Don't want it going stale now, do we? 
that's a lot. <laughs> Crunchy one. So now I've made this cake, that will be it. I won't be doing any more. Not for a long time. Unless they're Slimming World compatible. Not starting it just yet. Gabby and I have a day out, which is kind of looming. And it's sort of, um, if we start the diet, it's really going to end it straight away. Or kind of like disrupt it. And it's um, a trip to the Shard, which is one of the tall buildings in London, if you've not heard of it. And like most, they have a viewing platform and they have um, a restaurant. And I think it's, I want to say Marco Pierre White restaurant. And um, it might not be him, but I think it is. And uh, we've got a, a three-course meal. It was a Christmas present. I've got a nut stuck. I can't. <laughs> That'll teach me. Yeah, are oh, they rechargeable? I think mine's just battery. Cheers, guys. I'm going to have to slurp. Going to have to do it because um, it's getting cold. And I'm hoping it'll move this nut. Mm. I'm just stuck in my teeth. Not the best idea, is it, eating? Naughty Gary. Um, since I had my operation, I do suffer sometimes where I can't actually swallow something and it gets stuck. <clears throat> and I, I lack the dexterity of my tongue to kind of move it about. And when it gets stuck, it gets stuck. <laughs> Very annoying. Right, tea gone. Mm -mm. Get on. Not eating anymore. Hey, Ollie Cat. I'm well, how are you? Thank you very much. Don't forget the thummies. I'm on my last row of this colour. Now I have um, decided that I've done one row of um, half trebles UK, half doubles US. Now I'm doing a row of doubles in the UK, which is a single crochet. So it kind of gives me one and a half, um, uh, rather than two rows, was a little tall. And you never know, it might mean that I've got enough yarn, because I'm also playing yarn chicken. I have no idea if I'm going to win. What I'll you know get around the whole of this blanket or not, and um, I really, really do not want to frog it. So, once I've done this row, I may just leave it, or I may bring the blue out again, like the um puzzle yarn, and go round it once with a small, a small stitch. I just might not because it. Might look nice as it is. Um, so what have you all been up to? I've been making, I've been making stitch markers. Quite cute little stitch markers. I've made about 50. I've got little, little yarn balls. And tape measures. They're cute. And little pairs of scissors. They're very cute. Um, one that fell on there. Another yarn ball with some knitting needles in it. The one that fell over there was a sewing machine. Well, cute. And we have made with love hearts. And more yarn balls. We've got the hand, you know, the crochet rocks hand. Although I think it means I love you in deaf language. Um, I've probably shown you that one already. And I love these. 
a little collection of buttons. Aren't they cute? That's what I've been busy with. Well, so I had the postman come in to collect my orders. Um, and not just my orders. I had um, a collection of parcels that were um, giveaway winners, um, orders and uh, some eBay bits and pieces that I uh, sold as well. And the postman usually comes about one. One to just, you know, a little while later than one, but not very much normally. Usually around the one o'clock mark. And on the odd occasion, they were early and came around 12.30ish. And I thought that was really unusual, but they're usually one-ish. And it was really getting on time-wise. And uh, they were very, very late. And when I said to her, is it because of Easter, you know, getting back to work after the break and everything else? She said, no, we've now just, they've made us take on an extra bit of our round. And it will just mean that it will take, we'll get to you later. And I thought, well, why can't you get to them later? You know, why, why do we have to be the ones that move? Why can't it be that you do that at the end? Because now, when I used to arrange for um, my mail to be collected and my my um, my sales from Hobby Rocks to be collected, I always knew I had the afternoon, that they'd be there about one and I'd have the afternoon to go out and do stuff if I needed to. Well, not anymore. Because now if I arrange for the post office to collect, I've got to stay in all day. Because, you know, there won't be any time. And that's annoying. But, you know, they could have just, you know. I don't see why we have to, like, be the ones pushed out. Bit annoying, really, but never mind. It is what it is, as they say. I hate that saying. But it absolutely is what it is. Okay, this is my least favourite stitch, I'll have you know. I don't really enjoy doing that stitch at all. Um, I find it hard to get speedy because I feel like I, I do one speedy and then it kind of stops. Then I have to start again. And I find it a bit jerky. Sound, oh, I nearly dropped my phone. Jerky! It does. It means I love you in sign language. You're cheering for me. <laughs> what stitch is it? Just, um, in the UK, it's a double. And in the US, it's a single crochet. I just, I don't know. It's my least favourite of all stitches to do. Um, I think because there's no yarning over, it's, um, it's really slow for me. I don't, I don't find it flows that well. So if you're yarning over and it's it's i don't know it's just you can really get quick but it, this one it's just like i don't know it, it stop start stop start or start stop whatever way you want round you want to do it i'm almost at the end of the first side so far so good well it would definitely take less yarn than the previous stitch anyway. If you're wondering why I do this, it's because the fibres attach themselves to my hands. So if I try and wipe one away, I end up wiping more on there. So I use a tissue and hopefully I don't. The tall single. Um, your deliveries come anytime between 11 and 4. It's so annoying when you can't really plan. Hi, Purple Crochet and More with Dreamy. Welcome, don't forget the thumb in if I've missed anyone coming in. To apologise. But I don't think I have. Um, don't think I missed anyone. Wow. I suppose, you know, when you think about it, this could be my last row if I decide not to do the other colour. This would just, it would be finished. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? I mean, I can remember not so long ago, it was it was only the size of a lap blanket. And um, Jane kept telling me off for not getting on with it and how Gary's going to freeze all winter. And I don't do it. So I thought, right, OK, I'll start doing it on live streams. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's really got me done, got me to do it. You know, I think it's a, a really good idea with big projects. 
actually has um, inspired me to get it done. Whereas I never used to pick it up at all, you know, I've had time. So it's uh, it's not a bad thing. Maybe I did say I would try and do some more uh, projects, like some of my whips, and get those out of the way. But the trouble with them, some of them, it's a little bit difficult because they are... Um, you know, you've got to, you've got to take your eyes on it all the time, or you're sewing it up, or crocheting things together, and it might not be that that easy to do it on a. You know, you need a project that you can just watch TV and do, and that you haven't got to keep putting your eyes on it all the time. I've got a piece of nut stuck in my tooth. Hi, Kim. I am very close. Do a crochet along where everyone does the same project. Mm. I've got a nut in my tooth. Finally out. So here we go. Look, I'm now on the border. I'm on my second row on the border. I um, tried two rows of half treble. Didn't really like it. It was a bit thick. But one row is not quite enough. Um, so I'm going to do one row of US single crochets all the way around as well. And I was in two minds about whether to do another row of um, maybe a, a short stitch of some sort on the top of this. I often do that with my projects, but I wanted to keep that whole ball intact. So I'm not sure, but it is so heavy. It's really hard to crochet it now because it just wants to fall on the floor not to fall off your lap it's this this side is massive so um i'll try and it's when i'm turning the corner it's really hard but that isn't a bad idea doing a crochet along where everybody makes the same project because recently i made a wrap and it was on the back of my chair for quite some time and it was um um rainbow colour. Um, I did it with roll with it with a sparkle and it was a it was a really pretty wrap and everybody kept saying oh do you have a tutorial for that and I said at the time no I just freestyled it and um, normally if I do something like that I will write it down um, but I didn't that one so I just recently made another one only I did it with some um, grey and black yarn, which is very similar to the Ice Yarn Magic Glitz, because um, Gary bought me two. It was Papatia, but it was identical to the Magic Glitz, and it was because um, I had the purple one, and I had the the Ice Yarn in that, and so I know it's identical. Um, so he bought me three balls of each. So I thought, oh, okay, I will give it a go with the grey one and just um, make it again and write it down as I go this time. So I did. And um, so I owe that tutorial. I, I need to do that tutorial. And it has got quite a few repeat rows. So it would be quite a good one to do it, don't you think? Hmm. Not a bad thought. I'll have to um I'll have to see what everybody thinks about that. That's um ingenious idea. I did have a, a a texture blanket I was making with Aaron yarn. I thought about doing that one some time ago and I never did. That is a good idea, isn't it, Kim? Yes, fantastic indeed. Right, so now I need to manoeuvre. The whole side round. It's quite a chilly day today, so it's not a bad thing that I've got a blanket on. Yesterday I was hot <laughs> making it, but today I'm really um, appreciating it. I can't believe it. it really rained hard earlier. Um, it was, you know, looked like someone had a power shower going on. Really bad. It's been such a wet year. We've had nothing but rain all winter. I've still got nuts. <laughs> I haven't finished the cake, 
but I don't really. It's um, not really good to eat while you're on camera. I know some people do little munchy things, but I never normally do. Unless I'm stuffing a whole tea cake in my face. As a joke, that was funny. But once it was in, I knew <laughs> I couldn't really, I couldn't really talk anymore. It's like, oh dear, what have I done? But yeah, yummy. Whoopsie, nearly dropped it again. Hi, Pat. Ah, thank you. You're so sweet. Don't forget the thummies. I've nearly finished, Pat. Look, nearly done. Wow. This is my last round, I think, um, unless I do the colour. But I don't really, I don't really know if I will. We were just discussing about um, doing a crochet along um, with everyone on a live stream. How cool that might be. The only trouble is when I do tutorials, we tend to look down at it. So rather than at my face, you'd be looking at the work, like what we're doing. I know somebody like Triple C, she splits the screen, doesn't she? And she has a work, working hands showing on half the screen and a face on the other. And I wouldn't have a clue how to do that. Must be a StreamYard thing. Before StreamYard was popular, I did sign up for it because I had this um, lady that I used to go and look at her live streams occasionally. And she uh, and another lady used to do it as a StreamYard thing. And they kept saying, I'll oh, get StreamYard and you can come up here at some point. So I did sign up for it, but I have never used it. Because apart from, then it became popular and other people were doing it. And I really don't like panels. You know, when you go in a live stream and there's about four or five people on the panel. It's not my thing. Maybe two sometimes, but not all the time. Um... Can only say thank goodness yeah me too all them fibers oh it's been driving me completely up the wall but you know as i was saying it's been a bit of a godsend really because i wouldn't have done it otherwise i would never have got it finished um because it was sat there in a bag for well i don't actually know how long and it wasn't going anywhere so you know live streaming it has been the only way I was going to get it finished and Gary's going to actually have it. I don't know where it's going to live, you know, it's so big, it's just huge. It's going to need a house of its own, I think. There's no cupboard big enough to put it in, well, not that we've got any space in anyway. So what have you all been working on? Have you got any cows going on at the moment? I haven't done a crochet along for a long time. Um, I think the last one I did was a blanket, a baby blanket that I did, and I haven't done it any since. I don't know if people still, do people still follow them? I guess you must, but I haven't seen any going. But that might be a cool idea. But it, um, it would probably be, or I could do it like a, instead of a live, I could film each, each session and do it as a premiere and then I could type with you guys. There's that. But, um, yeah. Lots to think about, actually. Indeed it is. I've got a baggy stitch. Why have I got? Oh, that's why. Gary's going out to the kitchen. Never done a wearable for hat, scarf and headband. Doing the Sophie Universe cow and Expression Fibre Arts cow. Do all yarns bother me? No. It only seems to be this one. It's um, Premier Puzzle Yarn. And I was surprised because I thought it's quite fibery. You can, I don't know if you can see how fuzzy the fibres do stick up from it, see? And I thought maybe they're wool then, but they're not, they're just, they're acrylic. 
it's just acrylic and I don't normally get that aggravation from acrylic but it is like the fibers are very loose and I think that's why and then I have them on my hands and I have a, a bad habit of touching my face which only came I only became aware of when Covid first hit the headlines and it was don't touch your face you might have Covid on your hands don't touch your face you know but I'm a terrible like touching my face my eye my ear my nose you know a face toucher and uh yeah but look, there you go fibers fibers gary must be cooking anya starts a cow called jewels of the nile about the 17th um time to do things in between oh plenty of time to do things in between Year-long projects. Wow. Oh, okay, hang on, there's more. You're doing a stitch sampler calendar cowl with Coco Crochet. I haven't done a cowl for a very long time. In fact, I do have one that's in the works because quite some time ago I started making a bag and I filmed, I think, about three or four of them and I got to the stage where I now need to make the lining and do the handle and I never did anymore but they're all there filmed um but they've not released because I was going to wait until it was all finished and then do it but it's a cotton bag so would be perfect for now really so I could if I knew where it was get that one done and then I would have a little cowl going for this um, cotton bag. I made it with a, a yarn I got from Aldi a long time ago. It was um, two different cotton yarns. One was called denim and it is the colour of denim and the other one, although it was denim, it was stripy. Oh, I whistled. It was like um, a blue and, <laughs> blue and white kind of wound together. And um, yeah, I yeah, made it with both of those. And uh, it's around here somewhere. I should finish it, shouldn't I, really? I mean, <laughs> I've done all this work on it already. So I really, really ought to get it done. But I want to make some wearables and I've got some people to make wearables for. So uh, that that should be my, my kind of next um, thought process. Trying to find... Um, some enthusiasm and uh, what's the word uh, inspiration for those because I have um, Gary's second cousin is a DJ and she does a lot of festivals so I want to kind of try if I can to make her some real kind of fashionable festival wear not just the run of the mill normal fashion festival wear but something a little special um, and if I can do it I will but we'll see not sure oh am I gonna get enough yarn here or not um ah don't fall on the floor uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. oh and you're from Ophelia Talks oh yeah two cows of mandala blankets they're amazing how many projects do you have going at the moment? Me, way too many. Um, <laughs> Sophie's universe was enough. I can get that. I mean, they are pretty, but wow, they are ongoing. Um, I have obviously this nearly finished. And uh, I have the bag I was just telling you about. I'm going to have to, because I've got fibres all over my hands. I've got to try and get it out. Um, then there's the um, the wrap that people wanted me to, to make as a tutorial, and I have a bucket hat. I thought it was in here, but it's not. Um, and I'm up to the stage where I need to start making it wider for the brim. 
and it's almost finished so they're bucket hat i was hoping to have them finished for when everybody was here but i didn't but yeah so i'm making a bucket hat and then i'm waiting for the yarn to arrive because i've got a new order coming and it's um some style craft yarn um but i've also ordered some just yarn to make a blanket because I'm going to make this if I can find it. Um, let's see somewhere. Is that it? No. I've got here it is. I'm going to make this for my grandson. Because he loves Minecraft and um my other grandson I made a Mario blanket. So I want to make this for him. So I've ordered different greens and black. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that as a tutorial as well. And I'll pop that on my website for people to download it if they want to help and like, with, make that one with me. Um, so that I've, I've ordered the yarn. Um, I can't say it's going to be a perfect match colour wise. Probably not. It's really hard to find both greens with the same kind of thickness. So that's what I'm going to... Oh, heavens, I've just split the yarn there. Got in a tangle. So, yeah, that's um, another one of the projects that I'll be doing. But there are lots and lots of unfinished whips out in the Yana van, which are really UFOs. I haven't done them. Do you remember a long time ago, I made the Willow Square blanket? And that was a crochet along. Because my Willow Square isn't the same as everybody else's. I don't like too many big holes. So my Willow Square... When you do the, the round that pulls it together, it looks way too small like it puckers it. But as I said, don't be frightened of this. It's the next row round is going to completely pull that all back out again. But it just means that you won't have these massive gaping holes. So um, I made that and I made Tyler my, one of those for his cot. And, and I did it in blues and mauves for him. And that is his favourite blanket. He drags that around with him and it's full of holes. I mean, it's disintegrating where it's been his favourite blanket since he was born. But the one that um, I was making for me was going to be big. So I didn't do that as the, the one for the tutorial. That was the one I did to show everybody. And then the tutorial I made, Tyler's one. But the, the blanket that I was making for me still isn't finished. And um, I looked at it a little while ago when I took all my whips out into the yarn van. And um, I've got quite a massive sort of blanket already attached. And then I've got a whole strip ready to attach that strip of squares. But I can't remember what white yarn I used. So uh, that's a pain. Um, so I might just leave it as it is and just do a border. And then it will be finished. And, you know, because I, I, I can't for the life of me remember what white yarn I used. I mean, I've got lots of white. I, I probably can match it up and find it. But... um. It doesn't actually need to be any bigger, to be honest. It's a lap blanket. I could use... I want to make some car rugs because my... I did make one um, a little while ago. I did a, a chevron blanket. You might remember it. I mean, it made it in mauves and um, a variegated yarn. And I did this chevron blanket. And then we went to see my other son and Mike and Tyler came with me. And I thought, he hasn't got a blanket in the car. So I took it out of mine and put it in the car for Tyler to have a blanket. Uh, never seen again. So um, I do need to make some rugs for the car. Because, you know, when you got the kids in, they love a blanket anyway. And so do people in the back. Um, so, yeah, I've made one so far for Gary. Um, I have one in my bedroom that should be in my car. But... I do need to do some more. Um, and ba -ba -ba -ba. You made them. Oh, oh. Brennan loves Minecraft also. Yeah, Tyler's really just got into it. 
you know, they love the Mario, they love the Sonic and all that sort of thing, but Tyler likes blocks and um, he's always been like that, you know, like um, when he was tiny, he really got into cars and he loves, well, he used to love cars and even, you know, the program cars, he would love that, you know, and, um, but he would just stack his cars not stack um put them side by side you know and i've got to turn the corner and this is a bit of a mission um he would line them up and he lined them up according to color color size um and he used to have he just has this thing about having orderly rows and blocks and stacks so now that he's discovered minecraft he is blown away by it he loves it so and he's uh, always building so yeah that's uh and harley likes it you know but harley's brother used to be obsessed with it so harley's used to having it around but it's all new for ty yeah <laughs> so he does the same he would have them bumper like front to bumper and then he would side by side just like car parks all over the all over the floor just and then he'd put them all away and then he'd do it all over again he just loves side by side or making a big long line like traffic jam <laughs> but he won't like that much when he's older big long line of traffic jam novelty aware off of that one when it's a reality oh that was close nearly dropped my hook gary is cooking the sausages i can hear it Bless him. He'll be so glad to get this done. He's waited a long while. Um, oh, this blanket. It is. It's either called the Modern Granny Stitch. That's a, one of my um, things I've got to sew in. Or I call it the Box Granny because it looks like the... They're in little boxes. It does look like squares and boxes. And this is a big rectangle. Now, I do have tutorials on my channel for a square. So, obviously, it's just a granny square, but you can make the square as big as you want. Um, I also have a hexagon. Now, the square's called rubies. The hexagon is called emeralds because I made it in green. And I've got a baby blanket called the baby box granny. And this one, which is Gary's blanket, and I can't remember what I called it but some people call it the modern granny stitch but I like to call it the box granny because it does look like little boxes but I do if someone um one of my mods could put, put up that tutorial for me um I would appreciate it for this particular blanket now there are left-handed ones and right-handed so for every tutorial I have you will find the equivalent one and what I normally do is when I start them uh, if you're in the wrong one, a little thing pops up saying click here for right-handed or click here for the left-handed one. So um, they're both there anyway. And likewise for the square and the hexagon. What are your thoughts on hexagon cardigans? Do you like them at all? Because I, re I recently made a spike stitch hexagon um, that's like mosaic hexagon and um somebody said oh would that would that work for the hexagon sweater and I said I don't see why not um it should do and I did thought well do I want to try it do I want to try it? I don't know I don't like baggy sleeves so um you remember when I started it I did a tutorial didn't I <laughs> well I had done the square but then I thought you know what I didn't want to do a rectangle so and uh, Gary wanted a a nice big blanket. And this yarn I got from Creative Grandma originally. Not in this quantity. She sent me two balls. And it was um it was lovely. So I made I started on it and then I really rapidly realised that I didn't have enough yarn to actually make anything of any consequence. So I bought I found it on Amazon, the same colour. So I bought a pack of three and then I realised 
I didn't really have enough to make it. So I bought another pack of three and then another. So to be honest with you, it cost me an arm and a leg, this blanket. It really has. You don't have to use such expensive yarn. And obviously, Premier Puzzle yarn, if you're in the States, don't cost you that much. Just for me. Granny D! Woo woo! Hello, sugar butt! <laughs> I'm not quite ready to leave. I can smell Gary's cooking dinner. He brought me cake in. I've been trying to nibble at it, but I, I don't really like eating in front of people. I'm, so I've nearly finished it. I've nearly finished. I'm so, so happy. I'm, I'm playing yarn chicken. I'm really, really, really hoping that I haven't got a frog this whole round because this, um, this yarn I've had for a very long time. This, this is called, um, Oxford blue. It's very, very, very dark. It's almost black. Well, this is all I've got left. But it is a blue, although it doesn't look blue. It looks black. Oxford blue, and it's an Aran, and I got it from Aldi. And it was one of the Aldi big balls, like this. So um, I figured, oh, there's more than enough there to do this whole blanket because it's only the accent colour after all. And this whole thing has been used on this blanket. Can you believe it, really? It's just where I'm up to. There I am. So, yeah, crazy, huh? But I'm now thinking, have I got enough to go all the way around it? Granny D! Remember, for 30 months. Woo! woo. Um, so you made a hexagon sweater in cotton, but modified it to be closed at the front. Oh, that's nice. But um, the only thing that puts me off of doing it, I've got to, when I want to, I have to do this with a tissue because this is very fibre and it plants itself all over my face and makes me itch. So um, the only thing is, you know, when I've seen them, is that they are just kind of really shapeless in the sleeves, like baggy. And I, one of my big pet hates is baggy. When um, people make you know, those oversized cardigans and they've just got baggy sleeves. I feel like it's um, kind of, they should shape it. You know, that's how I feel. Like that. It's not that hard to just make a bit of shaping. But with those, you won't be able to because it's part of the hexagon. Unless you can taper it at the end. I don't know, I've never tried. But, um, <laughs> I'm in for 10 months. <laughs> I really love it when you do that. I can't, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how um, to do that, but my lovely members with their green. So yeah, um, that's the only thing. But yeah, somebody did say my my hexagon. Oh, I'd love to try and do that for um, a hexagon cardi, and I thought, well, well, I don't see why it wouldn't work. It'd just be a little bit interesting. So yeah, um. I don't know whether to try and make one myself or not. But I want, as I say, want to make some wearables for um, for Chelsea. Um, not just for Chelsea. I was thinking of making some for the cousins too, because they're well trendy. And um, I thought I'd make some nice tops for them. Working with Red Heart causes fibres for you. I don't understand really. This is very. Can you see the nap? The fibres just hanging off it. See, it's how fuzzy it is. I mean, it's only acrylic. I'd, I'd expect that with wool or, um, you know, some kind of natural fibre. But the fact that it's acrylic, it's spun me out a little bit. It has spun me out. But um, I've got a whole ball of it left. I think they're two hundred grams. So I have got a two hundred gram ball left. Um, which, you know, at some point, if I get a gas mask, I might try and make a hat with. <laughs> well, I definitely need a gas mask to put it on. Um, on the thinner side and your sleeves aren't wired, put extra rows at the front and back. Yeah, just to close it up. Oh, please don't let that be a mistake. Oh, I'm nearly there. I think I um, must be approaching halfway round. So judging by what I just picked up of that ball, I think I must have enough to get to the end. 
and yeah hopefully I have I was hoping to get it all done this session and not have to do another one but I might uh, not because dinner is cooking <laughs> I can smell it it's oh hang on I see comments um lengthen it after the stitch together so that closes the bottom yeah that's cool um i've not really made any wearables and it's not that i can't because one of the when i was a child and i learned the thing that i did all the time was wearables so i have made loads but of course making them for yourself and then doing a tutorial which gives everybody sizes is another matter but the thing that stopped me doing it is I thought, I don't want to make wearables this size. You know, I want to make them when I'm smaller. So I need the diet to work. It will do, though, because we're going to do it together and do the Slimming World diet. I was going to do low carb and I love a low carb diet, but I can't I can't get um, two different things cooking all the time for me and something for Gary and without me doing it alongside him I don't think he'll sort of you know see it through so um we're going to be doing it together and of course it, it will be healthier I suppose in the long run although I like you know as I say I am a big fan of low carbon but it will be the foods that we will be eating ongoing I suppose it's just, you know, a nightmare when you've got to do it dairy-free and you've got to do it trying to avoid gluten. So this cake that I made is gluten-free, dairy-free, banana and nuts. It is absolutely gorgeous. And when I make it, there's too much mixture. So I make cupcakes and they're always the first to go. The cupcakes are the best. Well, I could honestly, I could sell those cakes. They are just that good really are but i don't have anywhere to <laughs> i'll certainly uh not i'm in a cafe just to get my cakes that's not not gonna happen but yeah we used to think about that you know gary and myself thought it'd be a nice little thing to have a tea shop or a little cafe and uh but then i said to him you know it's a lot of work you know lots and lots of work you always but when you're doing it for yourself it is kind of better you know what I mean rather than working for the man doing it for yourself is more of a labour of love it's very dark in here today it's because the the sun decided to hot tail it out of here and we've had nothing but massive rain clouds ever since and it has been really gloomy and the rain was really hard earlier. Wow, are you all still there? So once I get to this end, that's halfway round. Halfway. Wow. Can anybody tell me how long I've been on? I was going to maybe try and do some evening ones, like when Gary goes to bed. And if I'm at a loose end, I might do some live streams over on Rocksteady. So if you haven't already subscribed to Rocksteady, then please do and join me when I do my lives, which um, I haven't. I did one the other day, but I I um, deleted it because I, I said something on there that I didn't like and it played on my mind. Not that I, it was rude or anything. It was just something that I thought, ah, oh, you know. I should really, should really have said that. So um, I deleted it. But um, all the others are still there. But I need to do it because of my watch hours over there. I really need to get them up. I've got about a 1,000. Of course, I need 4,000. So I will be doing them. Um, you've got nice mild temperatures and sunny and lovely in Carolina blue skies. Well, that's that's just not fair. We had that this morning. We had lovely blue sky. We had sunshine. Gary went outside and he got rid of a whole 
flower bed full of weeds and you know where the plants have um died off because we've got these we've got these like daisy like plants that really take over the whole flower bed and then they die off in the winter but when you kind of cut them all back it leaves just this one stump and uh if you leave that then it all just comes back again and it, again the next year just takes over the whole flower bed but it, they are beautiful but he um he filled up a whole garden bag full of dead stuff and weeds and then he came in and <laughs> then all of a sudden it went dark and started to really really rain really bad so yeah at least he got that done but so when i get to the end of this to this corner i'm going to end it and do the last bit on my next one because that should give me a couple of a couple of sides there we go so i'll show you this is what it's looking like with that border i think one row was just not enough let me get that up the one row where is it is it this side there we go one row would just be this and although that looked okay i don't know i think two one and a bit it's because it's a very big blanket it's gigantic see so i think that is a little bit more substantial so that is where i'm going to leave it <laughs> i'll be glad to get it out of this room i tell you it just takes over I'll put my uh book in there next time i will be it'll be the end and then i'll be able to start something whether i do it as a crochet along i will uh, put feelers out with the community when I do my chats and everything else. So the other thing I've been doing, Dee, if you're still there, is I've been making some stitch markers because I know you make stitch markers, but I've been making these little babies. So um, when I send out my orders from Hobby Box, I'm going to be putting my own fair hand stitch markers in. So I've got a little yarn ball with knitting needles sticking out um, and little buttons cute buttons and then i have um baby diaper pin or safety pin whatever way you want to look at it and this one is fiddly a tape measure and i've got a little um little sewing machine how cute is that sewing machine like my mummy has and then lots of these ones, little hearts that say made with love on them. And the hand that, um, you know, like rocks, but it also says I love you in uh, sign language. But of course, obviously, it's the symbol for hobby rocks and crochet rocks as well. And, 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 little scissors. I've got lots of different ones. There's another another yarn ball there so I've been, that's what I was doing today and um, they're all in there quite a few I, uh, I did so many that I've run out of bulldogs so I've got to get some more and some more jump rings I've got a few jump rings but not the attachy things so there we go I finally got round to making stitch markers wow um, let's see um Oh, thank you very much. Could do a crochet along on your channel and do it with yarn that's in your shop and put a special back together. I could do. Well, that's the thing. I could do, um, like, like like I said before, when people kept asking me for that wrap, I could do that. And um, instead of, obviously I won't have any more of that yarn, but maybe I could find one that I do have and um, make it with that. I remember you made stitch markers because you sent me some. Oh, you gave it up and you gave them all to the crotchety cogga. Oh, why did you do that? I know it's a bit fiddly and um, a little bit difficult to see, I have to say. I had my glasses on and the light on and 
It was a bit fiddly, but yeah. Anyway, well, thank you all for coming and sitting with me while I almost finished Gary's blanket. Oh, I believe it. It's going to be so good to get it, <laughs> get it done. And um, yeah, it will be great. Thank you very much and have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to Rocksteady. In the description box, you'll find the link. And uh, I will see you on those live streams as well. Bye for now. See you soon. Love you all.